Hey there, it's Mika Madela, and I'm sorry that you're going through a painful breakup right now. I know exactly how it feels to get your heart broken. You're crushed, you're miserable, and you want nothing more than your boyfriend back in your arms. If you're feeling sorry for the situation you're in, and you want nothing more than to get back your ex-boyfriend, your first step is to stop feeling sorry for yourself because it's not going to help you get the results you want in getting him back. This means no more sulking at home. I know that a breakup can be an extremely emotional thing to go through. What you need more than anything right now is a proven plan to getting your boyfriend back. If you don't have a proven plan, you might mistakenly make rash decisions that could potentially be doing more harm than good for you. Rejection and heartbreak can make you do or say things you don't mean and what you do right after the breakup is crucial. So let's take a few minutes to set aside any distractions and let me share some solid advice you can use right now to help you get started today. I know that every woman believes that their own breakup is unique and I 100% agree with you. But what I'm about to share with you is something that everyone can apply to their own relationship. This has worked for countless women and I'm sure it can help you too. Here are three steps that you can take to help you get your ex-boyfriend back. First, understanding you. I understand that you feel pretty low right now, but I need you to understand that your ex-boyfriend isn't going to get back together with you if you're coming off as desperate or needy. The first mistakes many women make when trying to get their ex-boyfriend back is that they try their best to convince him that he's still in love with them or that their love alone should be enough to make him come back. This never works because you need to attract love, not demand it. A man is never attracted to a woman out of guilt or neediness. This isn't why he fell in love with you in the first place. By using the strategy, a lot of women are just making things so much harder for themselves. So if you're doing this, please stop now before you hurt your chances even more. If you're serious about learning how to get your ex-boyfriend back, then you need to drop these negative feelings and remind them exactly why he fell in love with you to begin with. Instead, help yourself feel better by trying this exercise with me. Take a moment and picture what it would feel like to be back in your relationship with your ex-boyfriend again. Now I don't want you to think of something from the past. Instead, try to envision this as though it's in the future. Make this as vivid and as real as you possibly can. What does it feel like to have him hold you in his arms again? How do you feel when you hear him laugh at one of your inside jokes? What do you feel when you hear him tell you that he loves you? Can you get a picture in your mind of what it would be like to have a happy and uplifting relationship again? You're probably starting to feel a little better now, aren't you? At any given moment, you really have two choices about what you focus on. You can either focus on what you want or what you don't want. When you have any sort of bad feeling, it's because you're focusing your mind on what you don't want. Let me just emphasize this to make sure it sticks. All negative emotions are the direct result of focusing on what you do not want. Since you're going through a rough breakup, you're most likely holding negative emotions inside of you. When you have negative emotions inside of you, you're holding negative mental pictures of loneliness, sadness, loss, grief, and so forth. The exercise we did together help you shift your focus on what you want instead of what you don't want. The powerful thing about this exercise is that it helps you set off a vibe that your ex-boyfriend can literally feel. Because when you feel bad, you give off a vibe that makes him want to run in the other direction. And when you're giving off great vibes, you're actually attracting him back to you. When you're feeling great about yourself, you're in the right kind of mindset that will help your boyfriend feel naturally attracted to you. Pretty similar to how he felt when he first began dating you. This is the power of positive focusing and why it's so critical at getting your boyfriend back. Now the second step is don't pick up the phone. If you've even done a little bit of research before you ended up here, you've probably heard of the no contact rule. 
The no contact rule means breaking off all contact with your ex for at least one month. The no contact rule is important for three reasons. First, it gives you the time you need to heal from your breakup. Second, it gives your ex-boyfriend a chance to miss you. And third, it keeps you from doing things that will only push him away. The biggest concern many women have with the no contact rule is that they worry that their ex will forget about them and move on with their life. In fact, this isn't the case because what your ex-boyfriend really wants is time and space to reevaluate what he wants in his life. Even if your ex has given you a reason for breaking up with you, when it all comes down to it, he just wants space to reevaluate his life. When you don't give him the space he wants and needs by constantly reaching out to him and trying to win him back, hoping that you could just reason with him, you're really just ignoring his request for space. So he has to pull even further away from you just to get that space. And so the vicious circle starts until he is completely out of your life for good. Don't worry that he's going to forget you. One month is not long enough to get over someone you love. Even if he's already dating someone else, you are definitely still on his mind. He will constantly be thinking about you, even when he's with her. Not only are you giving him the time and space that he needs, you're also giving him a chance to miss you. If you're not constantly there trying to contact him, he'll quickly feel the impact of the breakup and there's a very good chance he'll miss you and decide the breakup was a mistake. The no contact rule is not going to be easy, but with positive focusing, you can overcome the urge to contact him. Third, get up and do something. Joining some local groups or classes, spending time with your friends or volunteering may not feel like you're actually taking action to get him back. This is where you're wrong. First, you're keeping your mind off your breakup. This immediately helps you focus more on the positive things and less on the negative things. Second, you're doing something with yourself. This makes you feel incredibly more confident, which will help you when you start talking to your boyfriend again. And third, you're also taking your life in a new direction. When your ex-boyfriend hears about this, you better believe that he'll notice and find it very interesting. What to do if you've already messed up? I know what you're thinking. Mika, what if I've already made many mistakes? Did I blow my chance of getting him back? Not by a long shot. I broke all these rules when I went through my breakup. We're only human and we make mistakes. All you have to do is stop what you were doing before and use these three things moving forward from here. I promise you, you still have hope in getting your ex-boyfriend back into your arms. The next step. If you've gotten here and you still want to learn more and figure out what to do next, I've put together a special page just for women like you. Click the link below and discover what you need to do from here to get your ex-boyfriend back into your life without using manipulative tricks. Despite what you may have heard on other websites, you can get your ex-boyfriend back in a way that will leave you both feeling good and excited to rebuild your relationship together. After all, isn't that really what you want? So just click on the link below and I'll see you on the other side.